Hello and welcome to Reroll, my name is Angus Morrison and today I have a review of Shelter, developed by Might and Delight and released on the 28th of August 2013. Shelter has a point to make, several points actually, from lessons about harsh uncaring reality to the circle of life, but never has a developer quite so pointedly shown off its ESRB certificate. Shelter is rated E for everyone, proudly displayed each time the game starts up. You see, Shelter is a badger sim and you are a mother badger escorting your cubs through the countryside for unknowable badger reasons. There are no guns, no swear words, drinking, drug taking, knife fights, gambling or suggestive themes because you are a badger, though I guess there's technically nudity. But it's not a children's game, not exclusively. E is for everyone and in celebrating this banner Might and Delight announced their intention to spin a story as relevant to the adult as the innocent 10 year old and for the most part they succeed. Aesthetically, the game is best described as papercraft, a heavily stylized world in which repeating pastel textures are folded sharply into the necessary shapes. It's really quite beautiful, especially when you find yourself on a ridge looking down across a swathe of paper forest. Its greatest strength, however, is in fostering the sense that you are a badger. The world is simplistic, stripped down. Tutorials take the form of singular, unobtrusive images conveying the fundaments of the required action. Objective markers are not to be seen, replaced instead by visually significant points on the horizon. Shelter's bare bones look is intuitive, instinctive. Because I imagine badgers don't have objectives in the human sense. They don't think to themselves, ah, I must journey north to that fab old set I used to have collecting precisely five pieces of fruit on the way. Each level is linear, but in stripping back the UI and designing each stage to naturally highlight objects of significance, Shelter creates the feeling of snuffling from place to place using only your badger instincts. It's a sensation reinforced by the audio. Each successfully fed cub rewards you with the triumphant strum of a guitar, while the presence of danger is revealed through a soundtrack panicked and urgent. If you have a pair of high quality headphones at your disposal, I'd certainly recommend throwing them on for maximum impact. Your main goal, well, really your only goal as a mother badger, is to safely herd your cubs from place to place. You'll need to keep them well fed, safe from hazards and sheltered from predators. It is, in effect, one great big escort quest, but I'll be damned if it isn't the most compelling escort quest you're ever going to play. Your cub's plaintive mewling and general helplessness will pluck at your heartstrings, and seeing the group jump and dance for attention as you present them with food is powerful motivation to keep their bellies full. In the early stages, your cubs are incapable even of running, and particularly during the night level, you're forced to check those usual gamer urges to sprint after prey in order to keep your family within your protective gaze. It successfully aims to convey a sense of responsibility, to instill the fear that should they die, it will be your fault. And they will die, because nature sucks. They might be caught in floods, they could burn to a crisp, they might vanish into the darkness as you learn how to cope with a new scenario. Nature is cruel and it won't wait for you to learn its rules before punishing transgressions. This is Shelter's major theme, a stern lesson for children and adults alike, and it represents an exciting approach to death in video games. Punishment for failure is real and immediate, the anguish cry of a dying cub being painful to hear and something that will be remembered in your child's perpetual absence but you do have more, and each blow that you suffer will help you better protect the rest of your litter. In general, the game could do with a little polish. The camera behaves for the most part, but will clip through trees and bushes and roots, revealing their hollow innards and obscuring your view. It's particularly problematic in small spaces like tunnels. I'd also have liked to have seen or heard or felt a little bit of feedback when dropping food for my cubs. Clicking can be a touch unresponsive and confusion over whether your command has gone through can lead to frustrating cycles of picking up and dropping the same piece of fruit. These however are minor gripes and pale in comparison to my main complaint, an issue which, for me at least, really marred the ending of an otherwise touching game. Without giving too much away, the game breaks its own rules. I have acknowledged and praised the fact that the game wants to teach about the harsh realities of nature, about how life is generally unfair. In the end, however, this idea rather runs away with itself and gameplay becomes subservient to art. Throughout the game, you will lose cubs through your own ignorance or mistakes, but you are given the chance to learn from those mistakes and act accordingly in future. Shelter's conclusion disobeys its own rules, stripping the player of all power to act and ignoring the preventative measures you were taught in the course of the game. 
it is, in accordance with the theme, the very essence of unfair. But in violating the game's key systems, Shelter won't leave the player with a knowing smile and a feeling of a tough lesson learned. Instead, it frustrates, spoiling memories of an emotive game with a bitter aftertaste. For the most part, Shelter will toy with your emotions in satisfying fashion, a game which is pretty, engaging and, importantly, universally relevant. Its setting and central mechanics are very well crafted, and it's not every day that a badger sim comes along. I was disappointed, though, to find an ending which forgoes tough love in favour of unavoidable punishment, an attempt to teach a lesson at the expense of gameplay. As ever, my name is Angus Morrison and thank you very much for watching my video. I'll be back in the very near future with more reviews, previews and interviews and if any of that sounds attractive I would be much obliged if you would spread the word and share this video across the web. Facebook, Twitter, Steam, Reddit, every share you manage helps this channel enormously. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.